Okay. So the first thing you want to do is take some flour and sprinkle it on a flat surface, uh, a table, uh, a large cutting board even. Um, and then you kind of want to pull out your dough and you want to kind of keep it uh, relatively square. So you might be in a circle because it was in a ball, but if you can, try to just pull the corners out until it's kind of like in a rectangular form. All right. So Amy's making it and Addison. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Dough's looking good. Addison, your dough looks great. So does your name. Thank you. All right, so you want to try to get it in a relatively square, it doesn't have to be vertically square, but rectangular shape. You need to have shape. some on the top? Uh, yeah, we can get to that. So put some down, put your, uh, your, your dough down, and then take some flour and just kind of sprinkle a little bit on top. Got some polygon? Yeah. A little, little bling. A little bling bling? Make it snow. And this is my favorite part. Addison, are you ready to get dirty? Yeah. I don't know. She was pretty deserty, dirty before. She looked like me. It was bad. <laughs> she was all in it. She was in it to own it. <laughs> I know. Okay. Now, does anybody have, does everybody have a rolling pin and or rolling utility? Okay. Very good. And, and can I just interject that Addison, I absolutely love the fact that you have a helper off camera that hands you stuff. It's like you're a surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's Fabulous. A boss. She's a boss. <laughs> she's got a, yeah, soon we're going to get a towel on the forehead. Yeah, exactly. Why are people port, why are people port call hold on hold on I gotta tell my boy whoever okay. this is to go away. All right, hold on. We are short briefly interrupted. <laughs> are you good? Is it Melissa? Hey, yeah. I don't want to call her. I gotta text her. Sorry, it's okay. Melissa. She can join in the Zoom. Hey, babe, we're doing a Zoom with a four H class. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Best friend called. So basically just gonna start working the dough down. You start flattening it out. How flat are we getting then? Um, kind of like pancake thickness. Okay. You don't and want them super, super thin because then they're going to burn in the oven. Right. Uh, so you kind of want them yeah, about, about pancake thickness when they're done, when pancakes are done. When they're finished. Finished, excuse me. Finished. Actually, no, people are finished. I know, I messed with you. I know, I know, I messed with you. I know. He was right. I know, I was messing anyway. with him. So. I raised uh, him right. Roll it out to about, about pancake thickness. To the size of a pizza. Yes, pizza's good, Declan. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have to back up, apparently. John's taking over the whole counter. I'm next. Can everybody see? Yes. Is this like a good thickness? Yep, a little bit like how you are and you're like where your left hand is. Is that her left hand? Or right? it, That's her left hand. Her, like right side? Right. That side right there is about perfect. Yeah. Yep. So good. We, we go. Okay. Dollars. It should be about like a foot by two feet. Foot by two feet. That's probably a good. All right, that's good what that is. For my, okay. my, 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 my. So yeah, about two feet wide and about a foot foot deep. Okay. okay. And then this is the the most fun part of the entire process. This is my favorite. So you're gonna take a um, an entire stick of butter. Um, you want to get it soft, so you can either so I'm kind of like chop it up into little pieces and microwave for like, you know, five second, ten second intervals. You want it soft, but not liquid. So when you get it to this point, everybody kind of come back to me and we'll see. We'll, we'll do it all together. 
Unless everybody has soft butter and then we're good to go. See how much more relaxed he is now that he's like not being Mr. You know, professional. Well, I like just being able. I really like being able to see <laughs> what people are doing. Addison, do you got butter, babe? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let, can we okay. see okay. it, please? Yes. Oh, looking good. Right now okay. you're going to use your fingers. Everybody got no Corona. No Corona. No Corona. Okay. So, <laughs> Free room, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, the soft butter. You're gonna literally <laughs> just rub it on the dough. Something I don't know. You're gonna take the butter and rub it on the dough. Go out, Addison. I know. So does Addison Addison win an award for you know being the best at this? Most messy at it. <laughs> yeah, no, this this is definitely my favorite part. And when I used to do this, I used to do it with like an entire table full of dough, and you're smearing like three pounds of butter at a time. Talk about Paula Dean. Oh yeah. Now you want to get it to all the four corners. But you want to leave. I mean, you want to leave a little bit around the outside. See that? Just kind of up, like up at the top. Uh, but you still want a good good amount of coverage. Don't wipe it. It's not going to get in. Nice. I like my hands sticky. <laughs> I want my hands sticky. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. Now run around the house and touch things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we want to wash our hands now, please. Use good hot water. It'll help release the uh, the butter. If you try to wash your hands with cold water, you'll be there for a very long time. And we don't have time for that in the video. So hot water, get it nice and clean. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do mine the fun way, and if they if they have a basket, tisket no. casket. You are not using one of my lobster burger baskets for this. He's insane. Yeah. Y yeah. But never mind. Anyway. You're not using my lobster burger baskets. Okay. So. Wait. No one's back yet. Okay. Well, Addison's back. She's like our pro. Wait on I, I know. Wait on him. Do. Whatever he's doing. Okay. So, does everybody have the uh, the recipe or the formula for the the schmear, the the cinnamon sugar mix? Um, it's on the Facebook page. And we got to pull up mine. Okay. So, so take take all that cinnamon. sugar and cinnamon. They don't know yet. You have to here. Okay. Okay. So a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of cinnamon. It's all hold on. What are we doing? I don't know. Um, oh, sure. Cup of sugar. Stop talking, please. Not you, you can call. Oh, okay. <laughs> cup of sugar and a quarter cup of cinnamon. Okay. Uh, we're doing the smear? Yes. yes. So your uh, cup of, this is your cup of regular sugar. It, no, can you relax? Holy smoke and wokens. Can I put these two things together? You sure can. Thank you. It would be most, most preferred. Most okay. preferred. So I take like a Tupperware, you know, container, like measure them out and then into a Tupperware container and then just mix it all together. Or if you want to be real fancy, you can take your Waterford salad bowls and mix it in that. Because <laughs> he wanted to do dishes today. Yeah. But it looks nice for presentation. That's right. Okay. No, you're going to watch. Okay.
Are they all mixed up? Yes. Okay. Addison, yours is all mixed up, babe? Yep. Cool. Okay. We got the A-team. So, I'm so excited uh, about this. Abby won't let me use a longer burger basket, but that's a really easy way to do it. Um, so tell them how to do it, but why I won't let you. <laughs> And we're using a, we're using one of these. Is that all right? What is it? It's a sifter. Yes, that's perfect. Yes, don't use those. That's a chip one. Yeah, but if you don't have a sifter, another thing that you can use is like a basket. Um, so you basically just put the whole mix in the basket, and then you just tap over the surface. But if you but, do this, it never comes out, and you will get ants. Well, you oh, go. not a good idea. Really well. You have to wash. I'm not washing my longer burgers. Okay. So anyway, the other way to do it uh, is just to get it in a bowl, with just with your fingers, and then just go back and forth. Okay, you can just do that if you want. That seems so much easier. Everybody getting a good view of this? Yes. You want a good amount of coverage. Because this makes it yummy, guys. You don't want mountains, but you want it completely covered. And this is probably too much. But it's for kids. But it's for kids. And you can always <clears throat> save this for rolly toast. Oh yes, rolly toast. Does everybody know what rolly toast is? They don't. They don't they don't know who rolly is. Why would I do with us? <laughs> uh, Kathy does because Kathy and I have discussed it. That's right. Addison, well, if you keep your thing. cinnamon and sugar, you can put it on toast with butter and put it in the toaster oven and it no. makes a yummy little snack. Oh, okay. And we call it rolly toast. Rolly toast. It was because my great grandmother made it. Huh. All right. Okay. Okay. Ready? Hold on. Is Addison finished? Is Amy finished? Everybody's good. Well, I think Amy's got entirely too much stuff on her thing, but whatever. It's okay. It's good. As long as you don't have mountains. It's got to be flat. No mountains. Oh, there's no mountains. You're good. It's it flat. Is it's mountain. just you know. About the size of. I'm having so much fun. Am I the only one? <laughs> I've been so greasy inside. This is so great. I get to uh, okay. All right. Okay. Now, oh, look, see? Your, your sugar. Addison used all hers, too. Good. Okay. We did not use all of ours, or we'd be sick. Yeah. <laughs> Addison used all hers, and I'm using all mine. Okay, stop, John. Wait. This is the tricky part. Everybody pay attention. Yeah, this, this, this is the hard part. So everybody have their adult? No. Oh, <laughs> no. Amy Mom's there, that. right? <laughs> oh, she's busy. She's feeding the baby. Oh, okay. Then Ainsley's there. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're going to start at Wait, the bottom. Wait, hold on. Should I film it from this way? Or should I film it from this way? Oh, God. Oh. Anyway, I'm taking so my job very seriously. You're just gonna kind of roll it over. And then periodically just kind of pull it back a little bit to tighten it up. But you're gonna roll all the way down. This is why they call them cinnamon rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Keep rolling it up. I can't wait to Thank you. Uh -huh. Looking good, ladies. Looking good. Putting John to shame. Look at that. Look at that roll. Yep, so John, do you remember strudel. making these when you were little? Uh, not cinnamon rolls. I remember making strudel. And we win. Yeah, we made cinnamon rolls too. Right on. Um, strudel is much, much harder. I don't know if we're going to do that demonstration. John wants yeah, to teach the kids how to make focaccia. It's Kasha, super easy. easy. 
And it's fun because you get to poke holes in the dough. Okay, so stop like a little bit before the end. Stop before the end. Oops. If you go all the way forward, that's fine. Just roll it back a little bit. Um, okay, you want to take, take this? Wait, wait, we got a baby. I hear it. So we're going to take this edge and we're going to pull it thin and kind of wrap it over. Can everybody see? <laughs> Concentrating. <laughs> Addison, is it okay? Am I getting a good shot for you? Yep. Okay. Whoa, look at that, it's a snake. Okay. Does it matter that the ends are thinner than the middle? No, they're just kind of extras anyway. Um, you want to you wanna do... They're my favorite part because you can dump them all in icing. It's delicious. You do want to kind of keep it consistent across, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, if you're not like selling them professionally. Uh, Baby gay. Hey. He's sorry. He's sorry. <laughs> okay, so then actually I'm enjoying it. Go ahead and get your your pan all set off to the side. You got your pans all set off to the side. Okay. Do we need if we don't have silk plates? Do we need? Um, are we greasing this or do they um, need baking? What What do you want to? You can take. Uh, yeah, you can use wax paper. Uh, or parchment? Can you use parchment paper? Yeah, you, you use the same. Um, Let's see what Addison has. Addison, do you have anything, hon? Um, um, we have parchment. Good. Parchment, yeah. Use parchment. Um, so. Did we lose Julia? Did she peace out? Yeah, Julia peaced out. She peaced out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, if you don't want to cut cut directly on the table that you are on, um, take what you can do is cut cut it in smaller sections and put it onto a cutting board uh, because we're going to cut little strips and that's going to be our cinnamon rolls okay i need to know what everybody's doing so i can show each way whoa addison's got a knife Watch it folks. oh it makes a bit of a She's like, no, I got this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, how how thick are you cutting them? Uh, I'm just I'm putting them on a uh, a cutting board so I don't really mess up my counter. Did you just put that knife away? Yes, we did. I saw that. I saw I'll that. Later anyway. It's fine. Chefs, okay. chefs, oh, you, you can't trust them. <laughs> Who is you? No. You're going to go about uh, maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Uh, I like to use a bread knife because uh, you don't want to pinch. You kind of just want to saw it down so that when you put it down, it comes out like a nice little cinnamon roll. Okay. That looks like an inch. Ooh. About you see that. it in okay. your hand. Yes. Maybe it's fine. Inch sounds good. Okay. And then when we put them on here, John, do we put them next, right next to each other? You can. If you want to do like sticky buns, even, you can like smash them together for like future efforts. You can just put them all together uh, and then do a schmear on top with like walnuts and all that kind of stuff. Right. And um, then they do I, sticky buns. Right. Yeah. I like to space mine out. Um, the cinnamon rolls. So I'll right. put these probably at least at least two inches apart. And then you can put one of them. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably do like I don't know eight on this tray right. or something. So I'm gonna need another tray. Yeah. Uh, and you can also take this entire log, wrap it up, and freeze it. Oh. And then take take hey. them out, thaw it, and then cut them and put them. Or you can actually wrap them up like this. Um, on a tray frozen and, and bake them off later. It works as well. If they're not well, quite as cool. good, uh, they don't get quite the same rise. Um, but it's it's pretty similar, and they're still they're still tasty. But it makes yeah. it a lot easier. So you can make big batches at once. Sorry, it Abby's arm is getting tired. So if this is shaking, it's uh -huh. because I've been holding it for you know ever. 
Don't cut quicker. Don't cut quicker. You're gonna lose. Oh, why don't you show them how to correctly cut, John? What? With your hands. Oh, okay. All right, so, everybody. Proper technique when cutting with a knife. Uh, never stick your fingers out flat. Always want to pull them in so that you're using the flat part of your knuckle kind of as a guide. So when you're coming down, you're never taking over your finger. You're never chopping off your fingertip. So hold with your fingernails down and then cut and use the flat part of your finger as a place to rest so that you never go into your hand. Okay. Now we're getting to the end, and this is my favorite little piece right here. I call it the nubbins, okay? And I do cook these. A lot of people, aka this one, throws them away. Oh, mm. I only threw them away when we were at the bakery. Piece of shit. Oh, okay, yeah. but these are really good because this has got all the good gunk in the inside at the very end, and then you're going to dip it completely in icing. That's the most delicious thing you've ever put in your mouth. Okay, what are what are our um, ovens supposed to be preheated to? And four hundred. Four hundred. So once they're cut, they're gonna sit again. Okay. Um, for like fifteen minutes. All these sitting, we're gonna make our icing. Actually, can we call Sam and go through this with him since we have a little bit left? Yeah. What time is it? Is it time for Sam's? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Oh no, then no. It's only three forty one. So part of this though, so you can show it. So put those on your pan and put them off to the side. Uh, no, that's fine. Regular size. Should have a little bit less. Man, I have to remember how to make this. Okay. John has to remember. Ow. That's my leg. So, mixing bowl. Look at Addison's. Look at that professional right there. Look at that. Very nice. We got Julia back. Oh, hi, Julia. You yeah. left us. Oh. <laughs> you wanted a snack, apparently. Oh, what'd you have? Seize it. What'd you have, honey? Seize it. Oh, nice. I had guacamole during the break. I missed you. Yeah. You got to talk to them while you do this. All right, Julia, do you want to make the icing? Okay. Get out your powdered sugar, honey. Yeah, that. Yeah. And your milk and your vanilla. Here, let me go get milk Okay. Oh, Julia, so wash your hands for you. Okay. Measure out half. Wait, she's not Julia. It's not Julia. Oh, my bad. She's washing her hands like a good little chef. I gotta pull up some pants. That's helpful. You're welcome. I bet they do appreciate it. And Abby, you know we're recording this. That's fine. I don't embarrass easily, buddy. If I did, I wouldn't leave my house. Wait, I don't leave my house. Where's Julia? Washing her hands. Okay, that's what I thought. She's singing happy birthday. Oh, oh Miss, you, you have flour all over you. Look, you're on that all over her back, all over her face. <laughs> it's maple, say hi. Okay, girl, you're gonna do this. All right, how much? Hold on, John's coming back. Okay. He's out doing something in the microwave. Honey, we have our pupils. I need to get my hat my hat Okay. They are here. Okay. Very good. So 
full. You're gonna start with a your bowl. confectioner's sugar. So we need. I hope this is the right size. Yes. Not, not for 50 people. Right, but anyway, so it's three cups of confectioner's sugar. Can we pour all that in the bowl? Yep. How many This may or may not be for 22 cinnamon rolls or 120 cinnamon rolls. Oh, we'll it'll, find it'll, out. It'll, it'll, I just can't remember what that is. I can tell it's a low calorie recipe. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> weight watchers, you watch the weight. Go on. Pile on, yeah. Yeah, these are these are not for the faint of heart. Do not give to diabetic friends or family members. Okay. Okay, three cups. Julie, are you there? You got three cups, babe? Yeah. So I always start with my whisk inside the confectioner sugar because I'm going to simultaneously stir add in the liquid. You need to tell them about the whisk. Yes, so you want to take Half a cup of butter, like liquid butter. Put it in the microwave. Um, and then make sure you got a half a cup. A half a cup is um, one stick. For all, yes. of the, all of those out there, half a stick. And if we um, if we lose you again, guys, we'll be in the exact same ID again. Because 40 minutes is all Zoom gives us for free. Okay. Very good. Are we almost at 40 minutes? Really close. Somebody will have to call us. You should have seen us try to figure this out. This is hysterical. It's like, I need the password. I need so, the ID. So if one person wants to stir and the other one wants to pour, um, if you just gradually start to add your butter. Do they all have their butter? I don't know. I'm uh, melting. No, we're melting right now. Okay. But you, if you want to watch, if you're able to watch, just slightly start to pour while you're mixing. So you get like a kind of like a little well going on. This is apparently a very dry recipe, so just like maybe so let's try a cap of milk we're just going to kind of cap lightly of adjust it uh with milk you can use water too uh but you're, you're basically going to balance it with, with your your water or your milk so this is still a little bit thick so, a little bit of a splash. You just want to add, if you're going to add liquid to this, only add a little itty bit at a time. Because uh, you can add too much very quickly. Uh, and then it'll get super, super runny. Okay. Um, you want to add like, See that? Uh, like a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon That's at a time. That's too liquidy, isn't it? It looks. Amy's looks a little loose. You kind of want it the same consistency as like pancake batter. Like this. Can you see kinda, that? Kind of like that. Yes, Amy. Yeah. Perfect. Very yeah, nice. that's what that was. Okay. So I'm not right, adding anything for it. We can't <laughs> see real well. It's I know. No, I'm with you. That's why I was asking. Add okay. it in. Can I see, honey? Uh, too thick. 
Yeah, so you want to add just a little bit more liquid? Is like maybe a cap? And then it's very important after we, uh, it's still too thick, I think. Oh, Nancy's no. got it. Let's get it mixed up on the sides. Watch out. Hi, Julia. Yeah. Yep. There you yep. go. Okay. okay, now this is very important. Every kid, grab your finger, please. Okay, grab your finger. Julia, are you there, hon? Nope, she left. Julia, this is very important. No, this is a good okay. time. We have we haven't put the vanilla in. Nope. Yeah, well, you gotta check this part out first, and then you use your other finger. Oh, okay. Stick your finger in. Swirl it all about. You do the hokey pokey. No. Okay, swirl it in and then take it out and look at it and then go. And then go wash your hands. Yes, now wash your hands. Mm -hmm. I can lick on that all day. Why was it, Julia? She said she could lick on that all day. You get to do it again in a minute when you have to add your vanilla. How many? Just one and a half teaspoons, I think. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. It's like basically. Mama, can I have breakfast for dinner? Okay. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla, guys. Oh, that smells amazing. Mmm. And after that's all met in, you take your finger and stick it back in and test it again. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's okay. Julia, you got your finger ready? All right. <laughs> okay, not that. No. All right. Have we taste tested? Yeah. What do we think? Is it good? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna do a little bit less, a little lesson on proofing. Um, so the proofness of the dough. I don't know. It's, it's how proof something is. Okay, proof nice. Um, it's basically, it's <clears throat> the, yeah, the three dough minutes. will grow to a point. So it'll only grow so big. Uh, when it's at its maximum size, um, it is fully proofed. If it's below that, it's underproofed. And the way that you can test that is by lightly pressing on the dough. So if it's underproofed, when you push, the dough will push back. If it's fully proofed, when you push the dough, it will stay put. If it's overproofed, you will push it and the whole thing will kind of deflate. But these are really hard to overproof, they take a while. Um, so when they're ready to go in the oven is when you push on the corner and that corner just stops. So like you can make an indentation and it won't push back at all. Um, so these are taking a little bit longer than I was hoping. Uh, but it's just you push on the side and the side doesn't move, they're ready to go in the oven and they will probably grow a little bit in size. Uh, if you put them in the oven too early, uh, they will unravel or push way up high. If you let them proof fully, um, they'll kind of grow, but they won't unfurl themselves and they'll stay nice and neat. 
is basically the idea. Yeah, they're cool. ours seem pretty good, I think. Amy is talking, but you're muted. Hey. Okay. So once they're, we only have like a minute left. So right. once they're ready, we put them in a 400 oven. Yep. How long? It's probably going to be like 12 minutes, 14 minutes, but check them periodically. Um, okay. And you're going to basically just watch for the outside uh, to kind of get a little bit brown. Um, and you'll see the, the bottom of the pan will kind of caramelize. So like the, the, the sugar and the, the cinnamon will caramelize. Right. Um, okay. When they come out of the oven and they're ready, while they're still warm, we'll, we'll call that. Right, yeah, we can call back uh, and we'll do that back. finishing part if we want to do that. All right, we're going to call Sam now, guys. Okay, so I will do another meeting at like, what time is it? It's almost four. So should we do 4.20 if we want to come back and do the rest of it? Do you think that yep. makes sense? Yep. Okay. All right, so you guys, four don't, don't put the icing as soon as it comes out. You let it cool. No, 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 no. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna basically, when they come out of the oven, we're gonna end up brushing them with butter, uh, and then they're gonna let them cool. And when once they're cool, then you can put the icing on. Okay. Okay, we'll call back at 420. Okay. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks.